to London to the 2017 Eurovision preview event and uh, tonight is a big show with over 20 artists are here and one of them is Omana Bear who is returning to the scene of, scene, of, scene of crime to Kiev back in 2005 when we met the first time, wasn't it? Well, that's right, that's right. Hi, nice to meet you again. <laughs> Likewise, nice to meet you Omar. Uh, so Kiev in 2005 and now we're going back again to Kiev. How does it feel to be again the ambassador for your country? Well, it's oh, it, uh, oh it's a great honor. Um, it's a great honor, and it, I think it's a big responsibility because uh, um, you know I'm older and wiser now and more experienced, and I think people might expect more from me this time. But uh, you know, I'll I'll do my best in any way. So uh, yeah, I have to say it's a big honor. Well, I find the song title very um, fitting, suiting because it's on my way. Back to Kiev. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about the song. Yeah, some, some people would say that, but and some people would go into the further line, which is on my way. I'm never coming back, and I'm back to Kiev. So it's contradictory. It's a joke still, but mm -hmm. yeah, uh, it's um, um, it's a very personal song. It's actually a very intimate song that I've written like ten years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was uh, in kind of a bad place and. In the second that I've written it, I knew that it was a big song. I knew that I wasn't mature enough back then to perform it, to sing it, and it needed time. I needed time, and I needed to mature. It had like uh, several different forms. Even the first one was punk rock, you know. On my way, I'm never coming. You know what I mean? And uh, like I told you, it had a lot of different forms, and now it's the right. I immediately knew that this song deserves a big opportunity, and obviously I was right. So I'm on Eurovision with it, and I'm very, very glad that a lot of people will hear it out, so I can show the summation of what I actually do. Well, you said you wrote the song ten years ago. That's right, some nine, ten years ago, yeah. 19? No, 9 or 10 9 or 10 years, years ago. ago. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's really amazing to keep the song back for such a long time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of hard. I, um, I wanted to... I wanted to make it a single on several occasions, but I said to myself, no, 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 this song is too big. This song has to wait for the right occasion. So I'm obviously I was right. Like I told you, um, it's, it's a song. It's a song that needed time. It's a song that um, needed a big opportunity and you know there, I, I don't think there was any other way uh, I, I think this song was destined to go to revision in my opinion so now of course you're going back to Kiev and uh, what, what are your memories itself from Kiev the first time and uh, what are your expectations going back to Kiev this time well my expectations are that Kiev must have changed and um, I think the the Eurovision itself has been changing uh, lately as the whole music industry has rapidly been changing for the last five, six, seven years when the internet, internet has become the main uh, source of music and all the show business, you know what I mean? But I'm expecting a very good show and I'm expecting a very good organization of the show. And um, one more thing, I think we can expect very, very good performances this year. For sure, it's getting better and better every year. Yes, that's, that what, I'm well. yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Um, about uh, 2005 to now, what happened to your music career? You're also living in London as well, so, so there's something happening. Yeah, well, um, you know what, I'm, like I told you, I divide my time. Um, Ljubljana and London, in London and Ljubljana and stuff like that. I've never actually moved to London, you know. I make most of my living with music in Slovenia because I'm very well known as an artist and as an author, as a composer. And, um, you know, I, if you make a living in one country, you have to live in one, most probably, especially if you're a musician, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to be there, you have to make your performances, you, you cannot do it via internet, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, am, I would like to maybe spend some more time in London, if it would be possible, but right now uh, I have many of my responsibilities in Slovenia as I am preparing to represent my country on Eurovision in Kiev. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you mentioned songwriting, you write yeah. songs, would you also write songs for other people? Yes, yes, but not many, that, that has never been my priority, but a lot of people ask me, would you write some songs for me, and if I had time, and if I had like um, 
a song that I thought it would be appropriate for someone to sing it, I would say yes, mm -hmm. I do it. But it's not my pro priority and it's not my a uh, common uh, business, okay. you know what I mean? But okay. I do it mm -hmm. occasionally. So mainly for yourself, you do it for, uh, for yeah, your exactly. own production. That's okay. what I'm saying, yeah. Uh, Manuela was last year's uh, souvenir entry to Eurovision. She was also in the show this, this year, when which you won. Okay. Did she yes. give you any, any uh, tips how to go for this new Eurovision? Mm, no, not really. I know her from, I don't know, so I've known her for five or six years, even before she won the uh, Emma, and even before she went on Eurovision. And I think she knows that I'm an experienced guy, I think I'm 10 years older than she is, and I've been on Eurovision before, so there was no need for her to give me some tips of uh, some tips uh, about that. Uh, because we, we, you know, she's also very experienced, and she's very mature, and she's a very good singer, in my opinion. Uh, we're good friends, uh, but uh, we did talk about how things are on Eurovision this year, and she told me a little about, about um, a little bit about it. Um, and I think I got some good advices about a uh, new era of Eurovision because I I don't think the last time I was there that I was in a new era. That was still an era before that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I told you, I think Eurovision has changed a lot in recent years. So yeah, let's hope for the best, let the gods do the rest. Omar, it's great to see you again, wish you all the best of luck for your performance in Kiev. And oh, thank course, you so much. Enjoy the ride again. Oh, I will, I will enjoy it <laughs> no, as much as I can, thank you. Now that you know what's coming up and uh, uh, after your vision, what are the plans then? Oh, it's hard to say. Let's see first where I come, uh, you know, which place I get. If I get to the final, maybe... Maybe some other things, you know, some other performances in some other countries as well. I don't know. If not, I have no idea. It's very hard to say. I will talk about that when the revision is over. Excellent. Okay, That's thanks right. very much. All the best of luck. Okay, thank you so much. Cheers.